I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh my gosh. 940, 950, uh, 960, 970. 980, 9, 1,000! You gotta score over 1,000, that's incredible. The gate has been cleared! Yes, we got the badge, meet the devs, and the copper crown of silver. We did it! We have done it, ladies and gentlemen! I am so excited! Woo! What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back to another episode in the wonderful world of Roblox with your cyborg host and his trusty sidekick, Mr. Bob and Cybird. And today, we are going to show you the official way, the only way, to get the copper key inside of Jailbreak. Now, it has been 100% confirmed it is in Jailbreak, and it's 100% confirmed this is the only and proper way I'm about to show you to be able to get this copper key. So before we do, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe down below because you guys know I'm gonna be on top of this event. After getting the copper key, we're gonna be going to get the Jade key and the Crystal key right away, and those videos are gonna be up as soon as possible. But for right now, stay tuned because guys, like I said, this is the only way you're going to be able to get it. And you might be wondering, well, how do you I know? Well, guys, if we actually check the Roblox page, if you have Roblox Plus, which is a Chrome extension, you can check the owners and the content of every item. I only found this out yesterday. And if you go to the owners, you'll notice that it's not just Roblox owning it anymore. No, it's a person named Jay's Wolf, King Turk, and Anti Salt J. These are the first, second, and third people to ever have gotten this copper crown. And it just so happens that the first person to ever get it was Jay's Wolf, another YouTuber. And he was streaming this after Creek was streaming it last night. And he was was actually able to complete it. So because of this, it's 100% confirmed that it's in jailbreak, it's unlockable. Three people have done it, but no one else other than those three people have done it. So what we're gonna do together, ladies and gentlemen, is get the Copper Crown. All of you can come along with me and get it, and we're just gonna hop right into this because we have to get this right now. We just got to, okay? We gotta, first things first, you have to be on the prisoner side because of the fact that you can rob and steal. So cops, they're useless. And go join a servant that is have too many cops i mean this one kind of has equal amount of cops and prisoners and criminals try to find one that has barely any cops it'll make your life a lot easier trust me guys cops can ruin a whole day of fun and the first thing you have to do is at night so your night time is between 8 p.m and 4 a.m right now it's 11 so it's a bit later than that what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take any car it doesn't matter what car you take just take any car that has a lot of speed i don't know about a motorcycle or an atv but a, a standard car like this even will work and i'll show you guys exactly what to do you got to go to this one you see this one we talked about it yesterday i showed you in yesterday's video what to do up to this point you have to use this one as a platform to take yourself off maybe boost yourself a bit with rocket fuel but you have to ram right into this wall right over here and when you do you get a chicken cutscene. And now this chicken says, I've been watching you for all some time now. He says all this bunch of gibberish, but don't focus so much on what he says. Focus on the background. There's a moon, there's a bank, a train, and a jewelry store. This is the next step. We were stuck here. We didn't know what to do with this whole hunter, find it, find it now. This doesn't really have much to do. It just says that you're a hunter, that we have to find this power. How do we get this power? It has to be at night. So again, between 8 p.m. and 4 a.m. You have to rob the bank the jewelry store, and the train. Now, the good news is that you don't have to do it all in the same night, but it has to be during a night. Also, more good news, it doesn't matter whether you get arrested or die. Don't worry, that doesn't reset your progress at all. I thought it did, but it doesn't, which is very good news because that means we can keep trying. So what we're going to do is try to rob the bank, jewelry store, or the train right now. The bank is currently being robbed. We have to go there before any cops get there because we need to steal some money. Now, guys, one thing... Oh, jeez. Oh geez, that's someone. That's someone there. That's someone there. Oh no, there's a fight going on. Anyone got a? Anyone got a key? Zach's got a key. Oh, by the way, you don't need a key anymore to rob. You can go through this way as well. But what you're gonna want to do is, oh shoot, this is gonna blow. This is gonna blow. This is gonna blow. Okay. Oh, I made it. Thankfully. What you're gonna want to do, guys, is when you go and rob either the bank, the jewelry store, or the train, it doesn't matter how much money you steal. You could steal like literally one cent. Then what you gotta do is break on out. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get out. So either way works. You can escape either way. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna escape. And there we go. You found a fractured piece of token. So We've established a few things. It has to be at night. Keep that in mind. You can steal any amount of cash as long as you steal something and you get out and it's still nighttime. Because if you get out and it's morning, like 5 a.m., it won't work. 
So what we're gonna do is grab this. Zach, where are you? Zach, we gotta go. You can't stay there. The thing is, the longer you stay there, the more chance you have of getting a, a caught by a cop. So you just dip. There's a pro and a con to the rain. When the rain happens, time stops. So it's great when time stops at night, but not so great when time stops at day because then you gotta wait that much longer to be able to rob the train, jewelry store, or the bank. We've done the bank now. As you saw, you got a fractured piece of token. You gotta do that again to the train and the jewelry store to get all fractured pieces and when you get all three fractured pieces it combines automatically into a token and when we get that token we got it oh the train the train the train zach where are you going no oh no 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 whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Try okay this is what i'm gonna do boost up on here okay there we go perfect now we're just gonna we're gonna drift come on before the train escapes us the train is right down there hurry hurry oh no the rain stopped so we gotta actually rob the train and get out before 5 a.m let's go 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 ladies and gentlemen we're going we're going and we're here we're here let's open this door all right here we go 3 30 we gotta go no i don't want to there we go Rob the train come on there we go breach vault breach vault currently breaching vault okay you gotta get in get like 200 dollars, and then escape escape out Open, 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 up. Come on. And run, just leave. There we go. We got it. Another fractured piece of token. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have two fractured pieces of token. Now, all we got to do, because it is 4 a.m., it's now morning officially, and we have to wait till the next night at 8 p.m. to steal from the jewelry store. All right, guys. The final piece will be ours. All you got to do is um, hit 500. You got to hit one box. That's all. You don't have to do as many as 5,000. Don't worry about maxing it. I did two just because I wanted a bit more money than nothing. But remember, guys, you got to get out safely, okay? I just got hit by that that stinking uh, beam of light but that's okay because i'm gonna dodge that and then what we're gonna do is dodge this one and then dodge that well look at that look at that it's 12 30 a.m so we are on track you don't even have to press that button you can just skip right on across because you're already professional guys come on if you've played jailbreak as long as i have you're a professional at this stuff and there we go now all you got to do is escape and hit the fence you got to hit the fence you got to go okay hey what's up operatic no 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 what are you doing what are you doing don't punch me man don't punch me <laughs> he's following me all we got to do is land inside the criminal base and the final fragment is ours you found a fractured piece of token the fractures align a token has been found and there we go that second pop-up only pops up once you get all three tokens and remember guys you don't need to do it in a certain order just do it at night and there we have it now this part is pretty easy you just grab any vehicle and you head over to the windmills and the gun store around that area there is a waterfall which i'll show you guys right now you like take the same route that i'm taking we're gonna blast off from here like that and I'm running out of rocket fuel right now, but that is A-OK. -okay. So between the windmills and the gun store right over here, this is the waterfall. Now, it's not at the very top. It's actually in the middle. Just get off your car, go over here, and just swim. And inside here, you should see, like, a weird shadow area. Swim in there, and you found the camping cops. Now, he says, his name is Wayne. Let me show you what this token is for. And then he shows you a little game cartridge. He inserts it in the bottom here. I don't know why it's like a PSP that he inserts it into. I, I don't know. Have you ever played Pac-Man? What is the highest score you've ever gotten? Now, what you gotta do for the first number is put three, 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 three. So three, five times, then a five, zero. Just the same here. So if you guys are doing this step right now, make sure you get it exactly right. Because if you don't get it right and you get it wrong, you have to do the whole process all over again, which really sucks. So here we go. Three, 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 five, zero, enter. Hey, you're not bad. It's a little easier than the score I had to beat. Do you know what it is? Then all you gotta do is enter the same number again. Five threes, a five, and a zero. You enter it and he moves on. Wow, I didn't expect you to know that. What is the highest score you can get? Now, the highest score you can get officially in Pac-Man is three, 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 six, zero. So 10 more than the two previous answers. Cool, you're correct. What Donkey Kong score was set in 1982? Now, this one's really different. You can honestly search it up is what I did. And the number is 874300. Then when you enter that, good job. Here, take this key. Hey, you should try out Rocket Fuel. It's fun. A lot of us here were stuck. This is where pretty much the rest of the community were stuck last night for hours and hours and hours wondering what to do because we thought it had something to do with Rocket Fuel. But after a while, we're like, it can't. Why, why would they say that? I don't know. You don't need Rocket Fuel for this next step because the next step is pretty much the hardest step in the entire Copper Key extravaganza. Now, what you're going to want to do is set up for the train because you're going to have to rob it again. I know the glitchy train. You're going to have to rob it. You're going to have to get in there, break open the vault. But what you're looking for is not gold this time around. What you are looking for is a box 
with a keyhole in it. Because as you guys know, this guy gave you a key. This is not the official copper key, just a makeshift key to unlock this keyhole in the box. This box though is very, very rare and I was trying for six hours last night, yet I wasn't able to do it. So guys, it's really all up to luck. Everything up to here was pretty much effort. But after this, this train is randomly generated. So sometimes you don't even get those red carts. And when you do, most of the time, if not almost all the time, you're going to get gold when you break open the vault. Very rarely do you get a keyhole. And that's where everyone in the community is stuck. And most people watching this video, that's probably where you guys are stuck as well. So... Guys, you got to keep at it. you got to keep breaking over in these trains. And hopefully, fingers crossed, one of them will have that keyhole. Now, I don't know, and it's not confirmed, if you still have to rob it only at night. I've been doing it both in day and night. So, guys, I recommend just trying it always, no matter what the time is. Because maybe in one of those trains in the daytime, it actually has it. I don't know. I haven't found it. I've robbed over 50 trains last night. So, the fact that I have not got it is absolutely insane. All right, Mr. Train. It seems like you got a red. Oh, you got a lot of red. Wow. Wow, that's a that's a lot of stuff so what we're gonna do here is just jump out and boom land right on it we're gonna open this one and hope cross their fingers that this is it come on come on don't let me down don't let me down don't let me down mr train breaching the vault breaching the vault here we go and it's gold it's gold scrap it scrap the idea scrap the plan it's gold. You see, this is what happens 99% of the time. And you just got to be lucky enough to actually get the train that has more than just gold. Wait, you have a key? No, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, whoa, is this a Tale of Vader's cartridge? What if you can play this? Oh my gosh. All oh my hours. Nine hours. It paid off. I can't, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I was coming in, guys. I wasn't recording this because I was like, it's just gonna be another gold box. But then I saw it open and then it hit me. It hit me with a whack. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you gotta find. So keep this in mind right here. You gotta find a lock box inside this red. Oh, we gotta escape. We gotta escape. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, open the door. Open the door. Hurry, 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 hurry. We gotta escape. We gotta, gotta, gotta go. We gotta go. And we're done. It's my boy MGS. Shout out to this guy. He's helped me out so much for the past few hours because we've been doing this back and forth, just going, going on every every train possible but we finally did it oh my gosh guys you don't understand how long this takes most people okay oh there are only three people that have done it so far this is so hype ladies and gentlemen i'm freaking out right now like you guys oh that's a cop no 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 what what are we doing what, are we, what did you why'd you do that <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Break a man. Break a man incoming. No, no, no. I can't be stopped now. I cannot be. No, 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 no. I don't know if it resets or anything, but we... No. I can't be stopped. I, I can't. I can't. I refuse to be stopped now. The thing that sucks is there's no cars in the vicinity. I don't know how he got that. Oh, oh. Pick me up. Pick me up. You know what? You know what? I'm sorry, Stu. Yeah, hey, Minky. Minky, get in the back. Get in the back. I know we left MG. Oh, Minky. Okay, bye, Minky. Thank you so much, Minky. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to that guy, too. Here we go. We found it. The game cartridge. I don't know. You can pause and see what exactly that thing says i was freaking out and i didn't catch it right at the beginning but it said something about uh it's like oh look a, a key box and i think if you find it before you get the key it's like oh i don't have the key or something like that but it's like oh i have the key you open it and then inside it's a game cartridge now what you're gonna want to do with that game cartridge go back to the hole right over here with the camping cop so between the wind turbines and the ak-47 gun shop over there so we're gonna have to go back and we have to give this to wayne and what you're going to want to do is get yourself ready because you're going to play a 2D game. Here we go. Wow, you find a Jail Evaders game cartridge? Let's play. Oh, we got to shoot. Make sure you don't die. Make sure you don't die. You just spam the button. Just spam the button and shoot. And then I'll shoot one over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't die. What you got to do is not die. You got to apparently get 1,000 points. F to shoot bullet, but I'm going to click the shoot button because I don't trust F. If you do die on this game mode, you gotta go find the train with the keyhole again, and gosh knows how long that's gonna take, because it's taken me all last night and all today, a total of nine hours, I would say, of finding this darn game right now, and oh my gosh, I am the happiest man on the planet, so I cannot die right now. This takes quite some time to get to. 900, I'm so close, I'm so close. Oh my gosh, 940, 950, uh, 960, 970. 980, 9, 1,000! You gotta score over 1,000. That's incredible. The gate has been cleared! Yes, we got the badge. Meet the devs. And the copper crown of silver. We did it. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited. Woo! We got the copper key. 
and the copper crown of silver today ladies and gentlemen if that's the way you got to do it just follow the video everything i have shown right now is what you have to do if this video helped you out and you have got the copper crown as well or you're trying to get it then be sure to drop a like down below if you guys are hyped to get the jade and crystal key just as much as i am then don't forget to subscribe because later today we're going to be doing a jade key episode we're going to go on the hunt for it and search for the clues even though there's no clues out right now now i'm still gonna try games that people have speculated so that's gonna be for today's second video but for right now thank you everyone for watching this video and huge shout out to everyone who helped me today to get the copper key creek jace and everyone else in all the chats all my pals we work together i don't know if i could say it's worth it because it was so much effort but i am just happy this this paid off my hours of grinding finally paid off and I can't wait for you guys to get as far as I did and get that copper key. So until next episode, this is Twisted Pandora signing off. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy.